This is Red Carpet Diary from the Toronto International Film Festival. I'm Joan Kelly. Canadian filmmaker Ruba Nada may have proven that Cairo, Egypt, is the city of romance. Patricia Clarkson and Alexander Siddig star in her film Cairo Time, which had its world premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival. Alexander, you play the lead role of Tariq in Cairo Time. How is it that I've seen the film and you haven't? That's just your good fortune and my bad luck. It's, I'm seeing it tonight, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm told it's good, but I, <laughs> I don't know. Reason for the visit? I'm here to see my husband. It's Juliet. I am Tariq. Unfortunately, your husband has been delayed in Gaza. What was it about the screenplay of Cairo Time that made you want to be involved? The director, really. I mean, she, apart from the fact that the script was really you know, simple, gorgeous. I, I understood it. It wasn't too complicated. Um, this astonishing woman walked in and uh, she had enormous drive and enthusiasm. She seemed really honest and she just matched the script. So the underlying theme, yeah. obviously, is uh, it's a love story. Yes. Uh, how did you come up with the idea for the story? Uh, I, just, I just saw it. I saw a blonde woman arriving to Cairo and be, because I remember arriving to Cairo with my family and being just so culture shocked. I'd lived in the Middle East, but I'd never seen anything like this before. And so I just, I just saw this blonde woman arriving to Cairo in the airport and, you know, waiting to be picked up. And I just thought it would be so, I'd always loved Alexander. And I just thought mm, it'd be so great to have this lo sweeping love story. Set in Cairo. Patricia Clarkson, who plays Juliet. She is extravagantly beautiful, and uh, you know, and so I, it was. It was really easy. It was. Uh, it was extraordinarily easy. I just had to concentrate and to not drift into her eyes too much. Uh, I had a great time. Yeah, she's a classy actress. You can never cast chemistry. It, the actors have it or they don't, and they just have it in loads. I mean, Patricia is an icon of an actress. She's just amazing and the script was very simple and very subtle and the love story between them was very subtle and I, so I knew that the acting had to be stellar and top-notch and they they were great like I, I, I learned so much from them and um, we were a team. We were a team in Cairo. What about your character, Tariq, being loyal to Mark, Juliet's husband, and yet you have this undeniable attraction to his wife? It was a struggle. I mean, I, it was a struggle for me as a person. Uh, I mean, my girlfriend at the time was out there, and uh, I, had, was, I was living that struggle myself. You know, she was around looking at the camera, seeing me, seeing Juliet. She could read that this was, you know, some, there was some interesting stuff. Actors try and go back to their girlfriends or wives at night and say, you know, well, we're just acting. It was nothing, you know, we're just having fun. But I don't believe that. <laughs> I think that actors really, you know, they get, they, they, there is a chemistry and you do have to enjoy it or follow it. Or there's a sort of blank deadness behind the eyes. And, and certainly acting with Patricia was, um, was exciting. So let's talk about the story. It really is about unconsummated love, unrequited love. It's about, well, it, the love lives, but it doesn't get consummated, if you like. So, the, yeah, the, it, it's, um, it's, I think it's something we all go through every day. You know? Well, not every day, but um, hopefully we, you know, we have that fizzy thing. Doesn't matter whether you've been married for 20 years or five, or you've just hooked up with someone, or you're single. You can walk into a coffee shop or into a station or uh, any place and you can see someone, you can look in their eyes and something happens, a little frisson, and it just follows that. It follows that as a lead, as a scent, and it starts to explore where that goes. And um, there's something kind of sexy about that. What does it mean to you as a Toronto filmmaker to have Cairo Time here in Toronto at the Toronto International Film Festival? You know what, it's brutally important for, I think, especially a feature film, to premiere in a festival like this. It's just, I mean, just as a Torontonian, like I call Toronto my home, I'm very proud to be Canadian, and my family is here, and my friends are here. And so, but aside from that, the film itself, we're all crazy about it, and this is the best we can give it, this final present. Uh -huh.